Good morning folks back again <clears throat> anyway I haven't made a video for a few weeks anyway today's video folks is gonna be I'm getting uh, I have a couple videos on there of uh, my oyster collectors and uh, oyster seed and stuff like that and I get I'm getting a lot of comments on what my uh, from all around you know the states and overseas on what uh, the oyster collectors are made out of so anyway this is what it is right here it's a couple hundred feet of a uh, sewage sewage drain tile is what it is so we buy it by the roll I got this little jig made up we cut it you know roughly to the roughly to this size then I have holes drilled here on each on each side right so once I cut it I take the cordless drill and a, a spade bit it's made for wood but it goes right through the plastic like nothing so I pre-drill my holes and then uh, I have all these ropes with cut the length with a swordfish snap so from that there it is that is one oyster collector and we also use I got these uh, it's plastic uh, water water pipe so we cut them roughly that length and we use them for the spacers in between the the collector right so anyway that's what they're that's what they're made out of anyway what uh, now what you got to do is come summertime we put these out about the 15th of July so uh, we got to dip them in cement we mix up uh, I go to town into the local whatever supply hardware store and I buy a uh, Portland cement and masonry and you take them two cements and uh, I just got a big tank and a and a mixer for my big drill and uh, just mix it up or you know whatever if you got a cement mixer that great too right so you mix them two cements up you put a little bit of sand in I don't I put a little bit in a couple shovelfuls so you mix it up and I, I like it nice and thick and once you get your tank mixed up you just dip this whole collector in the tank you know try not to get any cement on this here swordfish snap it happens from time to time so you just dip that whole uh, collector in the tank and uh, cement it, let it dry, throw it out in the water and uh, hopefully you get a good catch of uh, cement. So when you take your, or not a good catch of uh, spat I mean, so when you take your oyster collector and we just got some wooden sticks, you know this, this pipe's pretty flexible, you know, you're not going to break it. So we just take a couple stick, you know, take the collector and hit it with a stick a few times and the cement shatters right off this plastic, right? So then you just scoop the, you know, the cement and the oysters and everything into fish pans and away you go. And then the collector's good to use again next year, so. Anyway, I just thought I'd make this quick video to try to, uh, you know, that's it right there. So me and Bob are going to try to do this roll up today and I'm going to try to build three or four more hundred here right now. So, anyway, I'm just going to keep that short, folks. And uh, any of you guys that are in the oysters and stuff got any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.